To get an attendance report from a Microsoft Teams meeting, first open your calendar node on your left-hand navigation menu and choose the meeting for which you would like to get the attendance report. In my case, I want to get this Tailspin Project Discussion attendance report, so I click on it and then I choose the double arrow to expand the details for this meeting. And then right away you can see the attendance report is ready to be downloaded by this icon right here with the download arrow. Now this takes a little bit of time to appear, so if you don't see this icon, let's talk now about how you can find this two other ways, and we'll talk about some special circumstances in, in case you're still having some trouble finding your attendance report. So assuming you're not seeing what you're looking for, look at the top of your meeting details and you'll find the chat feed as well as a tab for attendance. And we're going to talk about both. Let's start out with our chat feed. So notice that it does post the attendance report as a chat message in that meeting chat feed, but this is only visible to me as the meeting organizer and any other co-organizers I might have specified. So from here, I can click on that to download a CSV uh, export of the attendance, and I can go ahead and open that and show you what that looks like. There we go. So we've got full names, join times, leave times, duration a user is in the meeting, their email, and their role. So imagine how nice this would be for a webinar with 100 attendees where you could see how long you kept uh, people in the webinar, so how long they were engaged, perhaps, and then also what their email address is, so you could follow up with a recording and any uh, resources. All right, so we'll go ahead and close our CSV export now that we've seen what that looks like. Right, and then back in Teams, remember, we also can click on the Attendance tab. Now, this is a little bit different, where it's not something we can export or download. We're just going to look at it. So we can see we've got a summary with four participants, the start and end time for the meeting. And then we do have the participant breakdown, but nothing to export, nothing to download, just to look at. But it is the same information. So if you just need to glance at it, choose Attendance. If you do need to export it and perhaps put it in another system or build a report off of it, uh, then you use chat and then download it from the chat feed. Now, if you schedule the meeting, if you're the organizer for the Teams meeting, uh, then it's going to show up in your chat feed as well, so you don't necessarily have to go to calendar. Just click on your chat node, find the name of the meeting, so in my case it was Tailspin Project Discussion, and I can also download the report from right here. You'll notice I also had another meeting where the same is true. So as long as you're the one going to your calendar, scheduling a new meeting, and just inviting a few people, it'll always appear in your chat and in the meeting details. Most of what we've talked about so far talked about you scheduling a meeting as an individual, being the organizer by yourself. Um, however, you could schedule a meeting for a channel. Now there's a couple ways to do this. You could just go ahead and start creating a new meeting and put the name of a channel in the channel box. So for example, maybe I want to schedule a channel meeting for the Market Project Teams design channel. So I'd put that in the channel box and that's going to invite everybody who's a member of the Market Project team in this case. So when it's a channel meeting like this, it's got some pros and cons. One con is going to be that you don't get an attendance tab like we did when you were the organizer by yourself. Uh, so no attendance tab, but we'll still be able to download the attendance report from the chat panel, just like if it was my meeting. So always rely on that chat at least, and if it's just your meeting and you're the organizer, you'll also have that attendance tab. And one last note here for channel meetings is if you do schedule a channel meeting, it will make a post in your main post feed for that channel. So here's our design channel, the post feed, and the design weekly touch base. And then any chat that occurs in that meeting shows up as a reply to that initial post. You can see there's 10 replies from various chats that occurred during that recurring meeting. Um, and that includes any attendance reports. So if you're looking for an attendance report in your chats and you're not finding it, it could be that the meeting was actually a channel meeting. So go and check that channel and see if you find that attendance report in the replies to that scheduled meeting post. Or, to make it a little bit simpler, if it's not something that just happened, go to your calendar, find that meeting, expand the details, and then click the chat tab to find that attendance report. So there, you can see there's several ways to do it, but hopefully that helps you find the attendance report you're looking for.